what is up dtube steam blockchain so today i want to take a quick little bit of a look at my eos dynasty stats uh, this is an eos blockchain based game and i want to have a look at it my stats six months later so so this is a game where you're earning daily EUS dividends if you're earning, owning uh, the TKT token. So this was a game that looked at EUS Knights and tried to improve on its game theory model. And I just find it fa found it fascinating that it looked like they had a genius uh, improvements in innovation on EUS Knights. So for example, on the Steam blockchain, I saw this article that was talking a little bit about the failure of EOS Knights and that at the moment uh, the market is not really working and uh, it's kind of failing. And what I saw with EOS Knights was, wow, this has so much potential, right? But, but the problem that I saw was that you didn't have any dividends, you didn't have any token ownership in, in, in sort of the network. And then EOS Dynasty came and sort of forked EOS Knights code uh, and and they made some tweaks that sort of looked like it was innovating. So let's see here on my stats. So this is my account over here. If I go to menu, I have 353,000 TKT tokens. And if I click on sales record, this is kind of fascinating, I find. So you can see I have sold for, uh, Vitra items for 42 EUS, not something revolutionary, but if we consider a few years ago, selling Vitra items in a game inside of your phone, that was not really possible, right? So this is something that's just been coming the last few years. So I find it pretty cool, the sell Vitra items that you mine in a game. So you can see here, even uh, if I just make this one smaller here, so 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 you can see that i can i've even sold some items here in december so for example i found an item here on december the 8th i sold it for 0 0.85 us and then i sold an item on december the 13th for 0 0.79 us so and then i also sold an item for 0 0.5 us on December the 3rd. So you can see I can still sort of sell items. I can still sort of find items that are high value, that other people value and that other people are paying for. It's kind of fascinating. Um, it's kind of interesting. So, and then also if I go to reward, uh, I, you can still see this is also kind of interesting. So my, my total rewards here, uh, that you can see my cumul cumulative rewards uh, is 65 EUS. And the total EUS that this game has sort of made, given out in rewards is 20,800 EUS. And you can see, this is the most fascinating aspect. So you can see, so when this, uh, when this game came in the beginning, uh, the, the token took a, a little bit of a price dump. Uh, as you almost see with any project that when something is new, it usually dumps uh, like a week later or so. But after that, it's been pretty stable in value, which is interesting. So you can see that next rewards is 111 EOS and it's been pretty stable at that for around six months now. So you can see that tomorrow I'm going to get estimated rewards 0 0.23 EOS. Uh, and uh, I'm still kind of surprised that it still sort of is going and that uh, it hasn't had an exponential downturn in terms of EUS daily that you're getting. It's been very, very stable. It's been very, very consistent in, in staying around the same sort of level, which I find pretty interesting because then it's, it kind of seems like you actually can you actually can create real ownership and real dividends that goes on forever. That is not just this like weird gamble stuff, but that actually is real ownership in a game that actually may be able to scale. Now, of course, it's early. I like oh, I always knew that this is very early in terms of game theory and blockchain based games. So at the moment, for example, we, we have scaling issues because it's pretty hard to onboard new users because they need to have maybe a high-end smartphone, they need to have an EUS account. 
uh, then you maybe need to have RAM in their account. So there is a lot of stuff that people need to know about just to be onboarded as a user. But in the future, maybe you'll be able to onboard millions of users to blockchain based games. And we see the potential, for example, with Steam Monsters, Steam Monsters and uh, some other blockchain based games that one of the aspects that's kind of cool, cool will be about them is when they have an app in your phone. Uh, and when you can play it instantly in the phone as, as a real uh, Android game or an iOS game, it becomes, it feels more natural, feels more like cool. And uh, people love, love the idea. So you can also see it, I get still the daily TKT, uh, which is also pretty cool. So yeah, I, I'm fascinated that you can still earn like dividends from a game. Uh, and that it's it works amazing, of course, because EOS blockchain, no, not a single issue in terms of like claiming your rewards, if you have sort of trustless and all that. Um, I can go on exploration with, with uh, my items here and try to find new stuff. In many ways, it's a number cruncher, but uh, a lot of it on the internet is that right now. So you can also see I can go to materials, I can sell on the market. You can see this last trading price, what 0.04 EY. And I can just go and uh, type that in or type 0.03. I can click on sell, confirm. And you can see execution of contract. So it uh, connects with the US blockchain and it verifies stuff and then puts it out on sale. Pretty cool. I mean, it works very, very smooth, and uh, I love it. Like, I, lo I love the future potential here of, of game theory and all of this. So it works. It works great, to be honest. Um, and and it can only become better, right? So, for example, if they notice uh, some game theory flaw, then they can fix that in sort of the next version of a game. So we, we're always going to get this constant innovation and people trying new things. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool, to be honest. So it looks like US Dynasty still seems to be running, seems to be performing, performing way better than, uh, than US Knights. And maybe we're going to have another game after US Dynasty that it performs even better, even better game theory. This is what we're seeing in the blockchain-based industry. Uh, always people trying to innovate, trying to create new things, trying to create better game theory. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's going to be interesting to follow the gaming industry still many, many years away from from scale and like mainstream adoption of blockchain based games. But it seems like it's going to happen eventually. Uh, so that's going to be kind of cool. So yeah, quick video checking EOS Dynasty out and stats after six months seems to be pretty consistent uh which is kind of cool yeah have an awesome day dtube and steam blockchain